Welcome back to the channel, guys. In today's video, we are hitting a town-wide yard sale. Let's do it. Good morning. You're early. I am. I am a little early. It's still drizzling a little bit. Yeah, I yeah, know. I know. They wild. said it was supposed to stop. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. We got all stuff for little girls, so. Okay. That's cute. Yeah. One of these. They're for Isabel. They're like um, dancing. It's like dancing out in front of her. Oh, okay, okay. Like a skirt and a leotard. Uh huh. Okay. She's got a little mark on her. That's Sage. That's the kid. Okay. Salon thing. Uh huh. <laughs> you know all the stuff. Are you um? Are you like? Will you do bundle like a bundle pricing for like more, more than one item? Yeah, I could do that. Now, have these been played with? Yes. Yeah. We put them back in the box. Right. Right. Okay. Gotcha. I'm gently played with. They're still. Their strings are still tight and all that. Right, uh, right, right, right. Thus, they st obviously they still stand up because they're standing up in the box. Yeah. Those stand up too. I just didn't want them to fall over onto the ground so they didn't have their boxes. Right, right. Okay. Couldn't find their boxes. These are all different outfits. Different outfits, different sets, like baking, and mm -hmm. like going to the beach, sleepovers. Right, right. Okay. Whatever. It's only like half of my daughter's collection that yeah. she's willing to get rid of. Right, right. <laughs> you start laying it out there, all of a sudden the pile to keep gets bigger. <laughs> With these kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and all the little ones, those are cute. Yeah, they're like little, you know. Mm -hmm. They haven't been played with, they just were sitting in the box. Right, right. But they like match the bigger dolls. Oh yeah, excellent. Oh, it's gonna stop raining. Yeah, I'm like ready to pack it in. <laughs> ready to pack it well, in. He can't get set up when it was it was full blown. Oh, well, now it's raining again. No oh, hair. Cute. Just out of curiosity, what would you do for all the American Girl stuff? All of it. <laughs> Just out of curiosity. And the two bags, the two little bags. Just out of curiosity. Are you bringing more stuff out? Yeah, I have a wrap of clothes that I can't bring out. Right, right. right. Oh, that's cute too. Disney. I mean, I could bring it out, but I need to go to the tent because mm -hmm. it's so big. Oh, it's so big. Yeah. And it's starting to rain more. Yeah. This is like ridiculous. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> That's neat too. Yeah. It's, it's so Star Wars. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I this bet. Like Ray's bag. Yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> oh my god, what a cool kid. She's got all the cool stuff. Holy moly. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't know that one. I, I, I don't know either. I mean, they should have called it if they knew Maybe. it. No, I'm thinking that. They should have called it today and postponed it or whatever. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to drizzle but then stop. Yeah. It was supposed to have already stopped by now. It's supposed to have stopped by now, is right. Mm hmm. So, what are you thinking? I don't know, maybe 250. With the bags too? No, not with the bags. Okay, so 250 for all the American Girl stuff. 
And then how much do you want for the bags? I don't know, maybe 50. Can we do 40? Can we do 290 for everything? I could do 300 for everything. 300 for everything. Yeah, yeah let's do it. You got to wrap. Do you have a box? Yes. <laughs> All right. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, we have shoes, accessories. Okay. These are all size nine. Size nine. Okay. Oh, these are neat. Oh, I love them. Very cool. I just kept buying more and more shoes. <laughs> That's cute. Yeah, kids grew out of it. How much is this? Uh, three dollars. Okay. Oh yeah, that's really cute, isn't it? that's very cute. All right, I am going to get that. Okay. Are you still bringing more stuff out? No, this is this is it. Good morning. How are you? Good. Have you been busy? Surprisingly, a few. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. I, I know, I've been through like a lot of places and they weren't even open at seven. <laughs> like that lamp. Oh boy, alrighty. What do we have here? All Don't kinds of stuff. Whatever you need, let me move out of your way from either side. Winfrey. Oop. That's pretty. Oh, these are cute. Mm -hmm. How much are they? They. I don't see uh, a sticker on these. A dollar. A dollar? Okay. Oops, 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 oops. I'm gonna get those. Are these just like empty boxes yeah, back empty here? Yeah, empty boxes and a bunch, some of them are like multiples inside. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I These are coasters. Okay, how much? Oh, they're blue. Yep, Ten dollars. Okay. Okay. These are neat. <laughs> are they cute? Yeah. It's nice to have like in the summertime just to have all your stuff together. Yeah, no, definitely. Put this down for a minute. How much are the books and stuff? The books? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see that. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. These are really cool. Oh, wow. Those are neat. Oh, okay. Wow. No holes in the bottom, right? So you can just put like. Yeah, I used to have like. I used to put compass grass. 
Uh huh. In there. At one point, there are like different things that can kind of hmm. pull it up. They're very cool. I might stop back for those. We'll see what happens. Thank you. bag for all these shoes. Uh, yes, I, have <laughs> I put them all in this box. <laughs> yep. I uh, I'm going to get these glasses too, but I have all these shoes. Okay. If we can add them up. Yes. So are you ready to check out then or um, can I go over you here? You can go over there. I'm okay, still here's your looking. Bag. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you'll, you'll use the mathematician. Uh, 25. Oh, no, no. No, no. Okay. 25. 25 and 10 is 35. Uh, this is 10? Yes. 10? Oh, okay. Because they're, okay, they're brand new, basically. <laughs> Oh, no, no. What about these? I haven't added these up yet. No, no, I don't want to. You know, you have a bag? Yeah, right here. I have a bag. Lo compro? Yeah. Are these yours? Did you buy yeah, those? Okay. Bought them. Yeah, she bought them. Not those. Yeah. No, no, not these. Okay, perfect. <laughs> oh, so if we have 20. Yeah, we're going to have to That's my box over there. Okay. So I'm going to add these to my pile over here. Uh, Bill, you want the seven on your toy? Yeah. Yes. I don't care. Okay. Now I lost count. <laughs> Three fifty. Four. Five. Six. Eleven. Eleven and five. Sixteen. It's very good. Very good. I was impressed. Yes, mine did too. And my grass look at it. It's all because of that dirt. Yep. It's amazing what it did. I'm letting you do the math. I wasn't paying attention. 33, 33, how much is my box? 33, Oh, five. you know what? I don't think I'm going to take the box. I think I, I was just using it to kind of, um, All right, 33, oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, 33 and 8, 41, Matt, you don't have a price on these? On the things? bottom, on the bottom. Not anymore, took off. What? Where? It should, it's the same as the other one. Where's the other one? The other one said five. five. Yeah. Well, they, they were the same. So. All right, so we're talking $46. Right, $45. Can we do 40 oh, Sure, just don't tell her. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> and you don't want the box. No, that's okay. All right, guys. It is now the next day, but it is haul day. I just got back from the flea market. I am freezing. It is so cold this morning. It is 40 degrees. It's actually warmed up a little bit. So I'm still in my heated vest, still trying to warm up. Anyway, um, let's, let's get into this haul real quick. 
I'm going to show you the American Girl doll stuff in the back of my car. Just a quick once over with that. All right, guys. So we are going to get into the hall. Um, this is still from the rummage. Oh, no, it is. Wait, is that mine? No, I think Michelle gave that to me. That was Michelle decided she didn't want it. I was like, wait, did I leave mine in here from that rummage last week? But no, I didn't. Anyway, I got all this American Girl stuff. You guys saw me pick it up. I'm not going to go through every individual piece of that in the hall um just because you guys you guys did pretty much see it and it's a lot and i have a lot of other stuff so this again is all american girl and then i do have these um lounge fly bags it's hello kitty strawberry this is actually a belt bag <laughs> which i did not know at the time but still um so all the American Girl stuff and the lounge flies were uh, a total of $300. I didn't even look inside these. I'm hoping that they're clean. Yeah, they seem like they are clean. This marble one. And lastly, this little Hello Kitty. Hopefully the inside of that one's clean too. Uh, yeah, and then again, all American Girl doll stuff. So pretty excited about all this. I love picking up American Girl. I probably should have stayed because I think they were bringing out more stuff. They definitely gave me a really good deal compared to everything, you know, like that it was priced and everything. If that makes sense. I'm a little tired today and I just got back from the flea market. Um... So yeah, all right, we are gonna go inside. Oh, this is one of those our generation, which I'm not thrilled about. Um, I was hoping it was all American girl. I'm gonna have to see, what is this one? Uh, this one is American girl, it's like a gingerbread house. Okay, good. It looks like most of it is branded American Girl. Yeah. Okay. I know all the dolls are. Anyway, I'm gonna head inside now and go through the rest of the hall. Okay, so one spot at the end of the day, this lady had a bunch of Department 56, like Halloween accessories. I was like, ooh, I was hoping they were gonna be cheap. They were not. Um, she also had some like lighting things. I guess all the, the larger pieces had already gone. Not sure how much she charged for those, but, um, she had the little ones left. And like I said, she had the lights, which are like battery operated. Sometimes I don't like to mess around with those. She said that she owned a store and this is where the stuff came from. So I guess she was maybe like a gift shop type, type place or whatever, you know, back in the day. I don't know. So she wanted quite a bit for these. Um, with all the lights and everything, she said something like 190. I was like, oh, I was like, all right, how about, how about if I just get these pieces? I believe that there are, I want to say nine in here. I could be wrong. She threw out um, like 75 bucks, I think. And I was like, eh. And I walked away. I was like, no, I don't, I don't want to do that. I mean, these, the good thing about these though, is that most of them are brand new and never opened. This one is brand new, um, ghastly organ grinder. Uh, this one topping off the scarecrow. Yeah. I mean, I think these are all pretty much new and sealed that they are. Madam Zelda. Oh, I have two Madam Zeldas. So some of these, I guess, are probably duplicates. So we have one, two, three, four. Haunted Harvest. Uh, is this guy new? I have to check. Oh, this one may have been opened. This one was open, but it's fine. Um, like I said, she didn't use it for display if it was open. Like a personal display anyway. She probably used it as a store display. So yeah, I did get a total of nine pieces. I spent $60. Oh, that was probably a lot. I really did pay up for these. I just love these. I love these things. Certain things, certain things really get me. So I did pay up for these, but 
think that's going to be okay. There's another Madame Zelda. I didn't realize how many of these were the same. I was hoping for like nine different listings, but I guess I'll just have multi quantity. Anyway, moving on. I got these really nice Sorrells for, uh, ended up getting, getting them for $8. They are in great, great condition. Now going into spring and summer, they may sit for a while, but that is okay. They are a size eight and a half. Um, if these were an eight, I probably would maybe keep them. I don't know. I probably wouldn't keep them. I just bought two new pairs of Sorrells this winter. So never mind. Anyway, um, uh, then at another place, what did I spend on all this stuff? I think I ended up spending 40 total. Um, I got some glasses, which I thought I brought them in here, but maybe I didn't. Anyway, I did pick up some Cat Studio glasses. I'll have to show you those in a minute because I don't know where I put them. Um, and then all of these shoes were $40 at one stop. And I got this Talk to a Duck. Um, like Duck Call. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand in my life. I don't know. I don't know if this one's going to be any good, but I'll give it a shot. All right, now get in. Let's get into the shoes. Um, these were fifty cents. These Crocs, Croc size eight sandals, and then I got a pair of Sunita Koi by Sunita clogs. Really great condition, size thirty six. So not even. Um, not even the same size as those. Must have been owned by a couple different people. Oh, actually, I'm not going to give you the individual prices because he did give me a little bit off at the end. Um, and like I said, 40 for everything. So these are, these boots look nice to me. They're Eric Michael Portugal. I am not really familiar with Eric Michael, so I don't know how these are going to do, but they're in great shape, and I just thought they looked like a nice ankle boot. I also got this brown pair, and these are also Eric Michael, I believe. Yes, they are. These are really nice, too. And what size are these? These are a 38. So they're probably a size 7. They could be an 8. Sometimes these European sizes vary a little bit. I'll see if I can find um, on this guy's website. These are really nice boots. Uh, and then I got another pair of Sunita clogs, the original Danish clogs. I thought these were super cute. They're kind of like a kilty um, thing. I'll see if you can see the size. 37. Size 37 on these. So probably a six or a seven. Again, who knows? Kind of a nice clog. And then I got two pair of Birkenstocks that look, they're all tangled together. They have all these strings all over them. <laughs> oh boy. I don't even know. They're all tangled up. What the heck? This is kind of a nightmare. I need to find scissors. These are all tangled up. I want to see if they're the same um, size. 37... 37. They look like they're the exact same shoe. They are. One looks a little bit wider, but it looks, the foot thing is still like the same. So yeah, these match each other. These match and these match. So I'm not sure. They're both the same. I think this is like the Giza style, maybe. I don't know. So all of that for $40 with the glasses. Let me see if I can find those real quick. Oh boy. Okay, these are the these are the glasses. See if they're all the same. Cape Cod, yeah, they're this one's got a little bit of different coloration to it. Um Alone, these will usually go for like $10 a piece, but I will sell these as a set of three. 
not too shabby. I like finding those cat studio items. I've been wanting to find a cat studio pillow forever, and I still not, I still have not found one. They're like kind of like a cross stitch looking pillow. So putting this out there in the universe, maybe I'll find one this year. Look at these amazing boots. I paid $3 for these. I cannot believe I paid three bucks for these. These are amazing. Um, they are a size seven. They do have a little bit of heel wear. I have to dig into these. <laughs> oh, I think I can unzip that and see if I can find the brand. The Ann Klein one of these, the vintage Ann Klein ones sell for a lot of money. However, they have a larger heel. So since the heel is small on these, I don't know that they're Ann Klein. It's actually funny how you can unzip each section. Like it's not just decorative. Like it's really, what are these? Um, I don't see, I don't see any brand in these. I see no brand, so who knows? Who really knows? But these are so cool. I was looking at my phone, I'm getting a text message. Oh, now I can't get this zipped again. Might have been a bad idea. Oh, there we go. It was on a corner, so it was like a little, a little rough. Anyway, these are definitely, these are definitely leather or suede. I'm trying to see if there's any markings in here. Like down, like lower down. I don't know, but these are still a sweet pair of boots. These things are awesome. All right, then I, I did pick this up at the very beginning. Um, didn't film at that location. They were still trying to set up. It's got a little fading or whatever, but these... Um, Zephyr TPS series. These seem to do okay. I paid $5 for it. It does have a little writing on it. It's got fading or whatever, but I think this is going to be a decent, a decent mitt. Um, this I paid a dollar for Starbucks, California. I am going to keep this because I have issues. Uh, okay. I got this Kate Spade set of coasters. I purchased something else from this lady too, and I don't know... I don't know. Oh, oh, I know what I purchased. It was in there. Um, so I think I ended up paying about seven for these, which is kind of a lot. Um, but with the other things, I don't know. She gave me a bundle price, and now I can't remember what it was. Anyway, Fairmount Park Neon Signs Coasters. It's not a $40 price tag, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, of course. Um, but anyway... This one says light up the room. They are felt backed. They are glass on the top. So we shall see. Okay. At this other house, I spent uh, $20 on a set of eight of these Hazel Atlas like candy striped glasses. They all look like they're in really darn good condition. There is one that has like some black marks. I'm going to see if I can get those off. Otherwise, there's not a lot of wear or fading or anything to these. Um, so for the set of eight, uh, she did have 28 on them and she gave them to me for 20. I think I should be able to get at least $70, $80 for this set of eight, which is pretty cool. All right. I have a bunch of random stuff in this bin. That's how I pulled it out of my car. So I'm just going to show you here. This is a juicy couture size small top. I really feel like this is vintage. If you look at that, that tag, um, I ended up spending $15 on the three items that I'm going to show you. So I got the top. I wasn't going to get these pants, but she didn't have change. Um, or she had $5. I had a 20, she had $5. So she's like, get one more item. It'll be 15. So I was like, okay, but these are brand new. Um, the only reason, I mean, they're they're, I like selling Chico's brand new, but these are a smaller size. They're 0 0.5 regular. So it's like a size six slim leg. You know what? With the color, I think for spring, these are going to go anyway. These are, these are in new condition. They're, they're nice. All right. Then 
the last item I got, I thought was super cool. Now, this also came with a hanger, which I don't know where I left that. It's probably in the other room. This thing has a bag that looks like a pillowcase, kind of. I'm not sure how exactly this bag was used, but this brand is called Agua Bandita. Never heard of this brand ever, but the tag looked, I mean, that just looked cool. It looks quality, right? This is this is an extra small though. So this is like a large extra small. It is a cropped crop top. Man, I could even wear this thing. Well, no, I would not be caught dead in a crop top, believe me. Uh I've had three children. <laughs> but anyhow, uh this is an extra small. I could not find this particular one on eBay. I will have to look and see. Like I'll try to Google it the Atlas Riviera, but it seems like this is a really high end brand. And that was my gut feeling when I picked it up. Um, so yeah. Oh, I see. This is how it goes. So it, the hanger goes in here. Here's the hole for it. Like I said, I do have the hanger in the other room. So it's like a bag like that. So that makes sense how this was used. But if you look at the opening on the back, that's why I thought I'm like, is this thing a pillowcase? So yeah, it gets hung in that bag. Makes sense now. Um, I did pay up for this at one stop. I paid $10 for this Waterford ornament. I can usually get 35 or more for these. That's, that's why I decided to go ahead and grab it. Uh, sometimes these will have the style names. I don't, I don't see it on this one, but maybe I will find it somewhere. Okay. At that one stop where I bought, um, the Kate Spade, I also got these Pure One little birdies. I think they are adorable. I think they're clip-ons. They're ornaments, but are they clip-ons? They are clip-ons. So yeah, two boxes of these Pure One clip-on birds. I think they are awesome. Ooh. Oh, oh, she gave me this for free. I was looking at these Summer Kit 15 Essentials. There's a floaty repair patch in here. I wish I knew what, comp well, it says Pinch Provisions. Um, these were sold for $23.95 somewhere. Uh, anyway, there's blotting tissues. There's something called a foot wipe what is that a foot wipe double-sided tape uh spf 30 sunscreen blister bandages aloe gel there's a mini phone usb fan in this little box what dry shampoo a facial cleansing towelette a mini comb with hair bands Ooh, now that that could come in handy deodorant towelettes tampon bobby pins i can't believe all of that is in this box or the and then this little bag that's wild look at all that she gave that she threw that in for free because she saw me looking at them okay um these i picked up somewhere um 56 street lights set of two department 56 i paid a dollar for these not the same place where i got the other halloween stuff uh, I picked up some cross-stitch kits. I paid $5 for all of them. I really wanted this one. Some of these tree skirts can do really, really well. I have not looked this one up yet. And they were all open for some reason, but they don't appear started. I did ask her if they had been started. She said no. Um, so, yeah. This one, I think, will, will be probably the best one. Just some other random, random kits as well a lot of horse related kits but for five dollars like i said i mainly wanted that one found a little pair of baby uggs for one dollar they have a little bit of wear but they're cute oh Ugh. two more cross stitch kits that were in that lot um let me see here are these i got these three little putts houses and I paid $10 for all three of them 
but I feel like these are going to do well. I feel like, well, even my friend Michelle, who's like really into like vintage Christmas, she said that I should be able to get at least 50 bucks for these three. I'm not sure if they're German or if they were made in Japan because they are unmarked, but I decided to take that chance for three or for 10, three for 10, three for $10. Oh my goodness. Okay. This I picked up, I think, for $3. Can't even remember now. It was so early in the day. This is one of those Chala vegan um, kind of wallets. Thought it was super cute. It's got all these charms. This stuff sells pretty well. And uh, I found that out when I found one new at the Red, White, and Blue thrift store. Um, okay, these I paid. These were in... Oh, these smell so good. These were in a, like a plastic thing, but I wanted to see what they smelled like. So the man just came over and ripped it out and I was like, okay, but they're still new. Um, although one of these little things that go over it also fell on the ground and he crinkled it up and threw it out. And I was like, oh boy, but they're still new. They're just going to be new open box. These smell amazing. I've never heard of this brand. It is from Paris, Anik Gutal, probably butchering that. Anyway, I paid $5 for these. These should sell for about $35 plus shipping. Um, I got this Mary Engelbright cookies for Santa plate. I don't expect a whole lot out of that for three bucks. This I picked up for $2. I'm not sure how this is going to do, but it is a Cosa de Riza um handmade in ukraine little ornament i thought she was really cute um i may put her on whatnot i have to gather some stuff um i have to gather some stuff for my first whatnot show which i have not even as of the filming this i have not even told you guys yet that i'm going to start selling on whatnot but i am um i, I am going to probably put like a separate video out um, about that probably before or after this I don't know I did have someone from whatnot reach out to me they said you know they think I would be a good fit so um I'm gonna try it out I mean I do think that most of my stuff is definitely geared more toward eBay it's better eBay is a better fit but I think some things I can definitely throw on whatnot um and that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give it a try so anyway Moving back on to this haul. What else did I get? I picked this up. I think I paid $2 for this. Um, super cute, like 3D Minnie Mouse Disney Parks mug. These right here. These are amazing. I, I never heard of this brand, but I paid $30 for the two of these. They are Samuel B., Samuel B. New York, Bali. I guess that's like a little cleansing towel type thing. And these bracelets sell for really good money, like a couple hundred dollars. They are sterling. They have these stones. I have this in like red. These are just gorgeous. With all genuine gemstones and precious metals. I'll have to look this particular one up. But isn't that gorgeous? Um, so I'm, I'm excited to get these listed. I'm definitely. So I have the, the red. Whatever stone that is. Hmm, let me get it back in here. So excited about these. So I have the red one and the green one. It's like emerald, I guess, or something. I don't know. Who knows? It's probably not emerald. Probably, uh, I don't know, but 
these are these these were a great score i think aside from my american girl stuff these are definitely my favorite find um okay let's move on here oh i found some really good stuff i and i wasn't filming here and i found some really good stuff at this lady's um place most of the stuff well she did give me five dollars off so i paid about four dollars a piece for everything i got this naqua art Jellical Cat by Warren Kimball. I've spoken about these ornaments before. Uh, so I got that there. I got this little egg, art glass egg, which looks to me like Robert Eichholt. And I'm trying to see. She did have another piece of Eichholt glass that was it, it was, she said it sold already. So I really do think, I mean, this is definitely signed. I think it is Eichholt, but it doesn't look like his typical signature, but he had to make it really small on here, but it looks pretty in, in style with, with his, I love finding Robert, Robert Eichholt glass, art glass. So I got that. And then I also got, is this the rest of the stuff I got there? Yes. I don't know who made this or whatever. She did say it was vintage. I just thought it was really cute. I'm not sure really anything about this. I do have to look it up, but it is a, a little like jewelry holder, she said. You could just put your jewelry in it. So I don't know. I just thought it was really neat. It kind of looks like Lucite. I don't really know. I don't really know about this, but I am going to look more into it. This may even go on whatnot. I am not sure yet. Um, I got this uh, Silvestri, kind of like Halloween angel, cat ornament. I thought she was really cool. And then I got two sets of Swarovski crystal dice. So cool. Look at those. Isn't that all? I love these. I think these are so cool. So yeah, pretty excited about those. So that was not a bad deal. Um, at one stop, I paid $5 for these Melissa blinged sandals. So I have the sandals. They are a um, U.S. size 8. And they also come with a matching wristlet wallet. So I thought that was really cute. Nope, um, oh, that's, that's that thing. Uh, I did get this for free, um, Pokemon Sun, the disc or the little cartridge is not in here, but the case, the case, case is here. Sometimes people will buy just these cases. Um, this particular one, I don't think sells for that much. Some of them, some of them can, um, just empty. I did pick up two brand new games. Um, I think this one was two. This one was three. Maybe this one was three. I don't remember at this point. I know this one was three. Um, uh, anyway, brand new. We'll see. Didn't even look this one up. This one, I think might be around $20. Um, this one I have not checked yet. Uh, but yeah, I like to pick up new and sealed, um, items. So I do have a few more things to show you. I just have to go grab them real quick. And this video is going to get really long. So um, let me go grab that. Stuff. All right, a few more items and we're wrapping this video up. Um, also in the back room, I did buy a whole big lot of LOL dolls that I'm going to lot together uh, and sell. I paid $15 for those. Um, this right here, I also bought with a couple other like larger items. I'm not even going to bring those in at this point. But this is a vintage Monet necklace i thought that was kind of cool so i think i ended up paying like four dollars for this no 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 i didn't i paid more they wanted 10 for it i think i ended up paying like five then um 
when all was said and done. So I didn't even look that up. I know some Monet does well, some doesn't. At another sale, I spent a total of $40. I did get some Sango Sweet Shop Christmas. I realize my camera is crooked right now too, but anyhow. I did get some dinner plates, salad plates, and those don't do spectacularly well. I should have left the plates. I did pick up the glasses, which I feel like are more rare and may do okay. Um, it was just so cheap. It was so hard not to. Uh, I also picked up all of these um, Spode Blue Room mugs. They're, they're all different. Like this one's Sunflower. This one's Greek. Like I said, and I have eight of these. There's six in this box, and there's two more in the bag. So everything for $40. All And I I think I must have, like, maybe 12 or 16 salad plates of the Sango, 12 or 16 dinner plates, and probably the same 12 or 16 of the glasses, which I feel like they're harder to find. That's I should have just stuck with the glasses. I probably... But you know what? It's all good. Oh, before I show you these, I'll go back into the bag because this, like I said, this was all from the same sale for the 40 bucks. I got these Madewell, Madewell jeans, size, what size are they? 28, the perfect vintage straight jean. I think those will do well. They're in great condition. Uh, I also got this pair of Vans khaki pants. Um, loose cropped fit, size medium. I don't know if these are men's or women's. I really have no idea. But this was all in the $40 price. Um, I really got a lot of stuff for $40 because I got all that Sango stuff. Um, I got these really cute Bella Jack B earrings. I love these. Aren't these adorable? I almost want to keep these, but I may sell them. I may sell them. I may even throw these on whatnot. I don't know. Like I said, I do have to gather some stuff. Um, and there will be a link in my description if any of you guys want to join my show or any of my whatnot shows that I have. And um, if you haven't signed up, you can sign up through my link. You'll get $15 on your first purchase. Um, so I will have a link in the description for that. Anyway, um, and maybe I'll already have my show by the time I get this particular video out, but maybe not. I think I'm going to do it. Today is April 21st. I think I'm going to do it like the first week of May. So hopefully this video will be out by then. I got a couple of videos to put out. Anyway, um, these are just so cute. Again, look at those. Uh, okay. Spode Blue Room soap container soap dish um this is a pampered chef like baking dish i, I might keep that i think i might have kept one that i got last at another yard sale so maybe i shouldn't keep that one i don't know i got this boslo boslowiak i don't know how to say this polish pottery little tray Running out of room to put this stuff. Um, two more of the Spode mugs are in here along with this crystal. I really got a lot for $40 at that stop. Uh, I know I keep saying that, but this is a crystal music note, which I thought was so cool. Simon Designs. It's kind of got like a iridescent quality to it. They packed this up very nicely for me as well. And I don't even think I was filming at this point at this at this sale. Oh, here are here are the glasses that I got. And I feel like every time I see this stuff, I never see the glasses, so we shall see. I got a ton of them. A ton of them. There's a couple more in here. The rest are in another box in the back. Mm. 
So yeah, this is the main body of the haul. <laughs> like I said, I got a few other random odds and ends, but this is like the meat. This is the meat of it. Um, it was so much fun. I think I did really, really well. I'm excited to list the American Girl stuff and the bracelets, the kit. Just like, I'm just ready to get it listed. Um, and I'm doing so much shopping now. It's been rough <laughs> between everything else I have to do. It's like, got to find time for all this. Anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And until the next one, you know what to do.